Hey guys, very good evening. This is Yogen from Fosk. Guys, please confirm me using chat that my audio is clear to you. Okay, so now uh, Jessel, Arvind, Arjun, Gaurav, Kuldeep, Kiran, Saurav, Bhavesh, okay, Srinivas, Srikant, lot of people. Guys, thank you. Thanks for the confirmation. Rachit, Siddhant, Krati, Rosalita, Anshu. Okay, thank you guys. Guys, welcome to FOSC. Guys, the session is going to take one hour for you. So we would be finishing by eight now. And once again, guys, this is Yogain from FOSC. I, along with Dr. Sylvester Fernandez, we welcome you all in this session. Guys, as the title says, this webinar is about launching a project internship. And in this project internship, you work on a client problem. And by end of the internship, you deliver the project, having a source code and all the production quality features into that. Now guys, before I start and talk about what the client problem is, what the statement is and how we are going to solve it. I will talk about the solution approach, right? I will define the architecture, the complete architecture regarding that, okay? So guys, first let me talk about a very brief, what the FOSC is, okay? So guys, FOSC was founded in 2015 we started this out of a city in Rajasthan called Jaipur. Guys, FOSC has two verticals, a very quick introduction onto that. The one vertical is a consulting business with the name FOSC Technologies. So that's the name generally client, you know, know about us. The other one is an academy, which is known as Coding School. In this consulting business, we, we consult uh, companies in the domain of data science, in the domain of machine learning, AI, NLP. NLP means natural language processing. That is there. And in the Coding School, guys, we prepare people for data science job. We prepare the people for data science, AI, ML jobs. That's a very, you know, bottom line of it. And guys, we have seen in the past that a lot of companies who are client to fast technologies, okay, maybe uh, local companies out of Jaipur, maybe the companies in Bangalore or NCR, maybe the companies even in Japan, these companies hire a lot of people from this academy or this coding school, right? So that's a very simple, you know, uh, introduction to what the FOSC is. So guys, please confirm me. My audio is still coming very clear to you because I get one query. The people, someone is not getting my audio. Okay, people are getting the audio very clear. That's good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So this was about the FOSC. FOSC Technologies, a consulting business arm, okay? And the coding school is actually an academy which prepares people for the data science job, for the machine learning and AI job, right? And there are a lot of companies who do business with us. They hire people from this academy. That's it about FOSC, okay? Now guys, who am I? Let me talk about this. So guys, my name is Yogendra. I'm director and founder at FOSC. And Dr. Sylvester is also there with me. Okay. So guys, before founding FOSC, I was working with Qualcomm India 
one of the world's largest semiconductor company. And if you guys are inter interested, this is me. Here you can see my profile, Yogendra. And close to 15 years of experience. And here you can see uh, more than five years, okay? More than five years after, uh, you know, uh, starting the FOSC. And guys, before that, I have worked as a CTO uh, with a startup company. I was working as a technical lead, okay? I was working as a senior engineer with Qualcomm India uh, at Hyderabad location. And I've worked with Mango. And even I have worked as a software, you know, embedded software developer with a Japanese company called Jad Drive. So this is my a quick, you know, a profile that you would like to, you know, uh, see. So guys, this is my link. Similarly, guys, similarly, Sylvester also has a close to 20 years of experience, a very, you know, a seasoned professional. And here he is, here you can see Dr. Sylvester. And he has served as a CTO and the CEO of multiple companies, right? In Bombay, in, in Jaipur, in, in Bangalore, a lot of companies here you can see, okay? And uh, he holds the PhD degree in cybersecurity. So guys, this is about me and about Sylvester. Now, guys, let me come to the internship details. So exciting area coming to you now, guys. Okay. So, guys, this internship is based on a theme, and the theme is AI, machine learning, and NLP, natural language processing. And guys, if I define what the AI is, AI obviously stands for artificial intelligence. And when I say what the AI is, any machine, right? Any machine which behaves like human, right? Which behaves like human is an AI machine. But as a human, we take, you know, uh, lots of decisions from morning to night based on the context, based on the scenario, based on the knowledge base, based on the timings and so many other, you know, factors. But that machine can only take one or two decisions very similar to a human. It cannot be a complete generalization, okay, of a human behavior. But specific to a one or two task, it can completely mimic the human behavior. That's a machine as an AI machine. Now, guys, how to enable your machine? So when I say, guys, machine, it can be a software piece, it can be a hardware, or it can be a combination of both, okay? And now question comes that how you can enable your machine as an AI machine. Now, now guys, there are, are two ways, actually. To achieve AI, you can apply machine learning methodology. So guys, ML is a way to achieve AI. Similarly, you have deep learning as well. So deep learning is a way to achieve AI. In fact, deep learning is a specific case of ML only, okay? It's a specific case of ML only. In case of deep learning, guys, we do the data processing using a computer architecture, which is known as neural networks. So neural networks is kind of a layered processing of the data and the information. So guys, AI can be achieved through machine learning or deep learning. So if I say, you know, this can be your a diagram where this is the AI world, guys. And to achieve AI, you have AML. And the specific section, right, where you are using neural networks, right, you have this deep learning. Okay. Now, guys, if I define what the ML is, right, what the machine learning is, so let's talk about that a very quick, and then I'll come to the problem statement okay so guys when i say what the machine learning is i'll give you a formal definition of it okay so formal 
definition of ml guys those people who are from you know a mathematical background or you know they have a high school mathematics guys you know this equation y is equal to fx very well where in terms of mathematics world guys this x is called as independent variable right or input variable this works as an input right this y is called as dependent variable or output some literature say it's a target in other words this f is basically a mapping function which is a relationship that how x and y are related to each other right this is the mathematics if i take one example y is equal to mx plus c is one example where you can see that how come x and y are connected or related to each other okay maybe y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c is one of the relations so so this way we can have a lot many you know uh, relations like this this is mathematics and guys when you are into mathematics world what is given to you you are given x and you are given f these two entities are given to you and what is your job what is your job your job is that you need to calculate the value of y guys this is mathematics okay x is given to you input variable is given to you mapping function is given to you and then you have to calculate the y this is mathematics now guys if i move to ml world this was now i'm moving to the ml world guys in case of machine learning world guys what is given to you x and y is given to you and now if x and y is given to you what you can do using x and y you can find out the mapping function right because in this relationship right in this relationship we have three entities so if we know two entities we can figure out the other one right so if x and y is given to us we can find out okay the mapping function f and once guys this mapping function is known to us we can use this mapping function to calculate the value of a y for a new value of x calculating the value of y for a new value of x given this mapping function is known as prediction in machine learning world guys this is prediction and guys in machine learning world this independent variable right right this independent variable is known as feature now guys now we are into ml world guys so what you call it as a independent variable in mathematics world now you call this as a feature and guys this y which was earlier called as a dependent variable is now called as label and guys this combination x and y this is known as data set this is your data set now so guys if you have a data set and in that data set you know what is the feature and what the label is you can find out the mapping function finding out the mapping function is known as training guys we call this activity as a training guys okay once the training is done okay once the training is done you can use this mapping function to make a prediction right where you have got some new value of x and this way what you are trying to do you are trying to find out the value of label or value of a y this is known as prediction so what we have in to totality guys we have a data set once we have a data set we are going to analyze it we are going to identify what the feature is or what the label is once that story is over we move on to the next step which is known as training okay and this training right will identify the mapping function for us okay and guys once that mapping function is there we can use that mapping function to make a prediction 
for a new values of X or future values of X. This is the whole crux of machine learning, guys. This is the whole crux of machine learning problems. The, in the problem, you would be given a data set. If the data set is not given, the problem may, you know, uh, ask you to collect the data set in, in that case. But in any way, you can only identify the mapping function only and only if you have a data set. Right, guys? And now, guys, you must be knowing from your, uh, you know, engineering studies or MCA or BCA or a BBA, right? You know the sorting, guys, right? You must have gone through a topic called sorting. You must have heard about the bubble sort. You have must have heard the, you know, merge sort. You must have known the insertion sort, the selection sort, right? And what the sorting means, you are given an unordered data then you have to order it. And guys, there are lots of methods to do that. And methods are algorithms, right? There are lots of algorithms. Similarly, guys, to find out a mapping function, to find out a mapping function given a data set, there are a lot of algorithms in machine learning world. And you may have heard, of, heard about the regression. This is you know, a linear regression or a decision tree or a random forest or a KNN or a Naves or a SVM. All of these are the algorithms which can be used given the problem statement to identify this mapping function. Guys, let me know if this a quick introduction to machine learning is clear to you or not. So Sanjeev says clear. Quasamundi saying 100%, Krati saying clears. Okay, Alok saying great. Okay, good guys, very good, very good. Okay, so a lot of people are saying they got it. Salu, Srikant, Raj, Sohani. Okay, cool guys, okay. Now, now guys, I'm coming to a very important discussion which you know, which will actually, you know, uh, keep you engaged for a couple of, you know, uh, five minutes, next five minutes, guys. See, there are questions from the people. And the question is that how I can get a data science job or how can, you know, I get a machine learning job or you can have any name because in, in, in actually in your day-to-day -day discussions, guys, you know, uh, into day-to-day -day discussions, guys, you know, uh, AI and AML and DL, they are interchangeably used. Rahul, I'll come to your question. So please do not spam. Uh, you, you keep this question for the last part of the session. I will definitely answer this. Okay, Rahul. <coughs> so now, guys, how you can prepare yourself for this domain? Okay. And, and guys, you know that almost next 10 to 15 years belong to the revolution of artificial intelligence, particularly India, particularly China, particularly US, right? Three dominant reasons where AI is going to play a very, very major role. And given that, there are lots of opportunities, okay? where you can fit yourself depending on your skill set, depending your capabilities, depending your interest, you can find a very exciting career into that. Now guys, here see, how you can make a transition. So let's start from a very basic one. And what is that? Guys, the most prominent programming language that is used for analytics, machine learning, okay, or AI projects, that language is Python, right? Python as of now is the most popular language, programming language I'm talking about. Python is the world's most popular programming language. In 2019, if you guys remember the Stack Overflow survey, Python was at the number one position in terms of popularity. Okay, and now guys, 
to start with or to get into a job of AI, you should start with this programming language. And I hope a lot of people are already there, right? And what you should know about Python, you should know how to take input from the user, you should know how to, you know, uh, uh, play with the control flow, if else kind of conditions, how to handle the loops, how to play with the data structures, like, you know, a list, okay? A dictionary, tuple, set, kind of this file handling, you know, all of this, you should be knowing about that, okay? And guys, data structures like list and dictionary, they are very important data structures because using these, you can manipulate the data actually. You can manipulate the data, right? And the data manipulation is the inherent part of any data science application. Guys, once you are done with this part, you need to move on to an advanced Python. We are what you learn, guys. You should focus on understanding how to play around with the database. And guys, when I say database, you should know that you should be good at understanding the RDBMS, which is, you know, a relational database management system, SQL, MySQL, Oracle, okay? And the NoSQL as well, like MongoDB, okay? That's there. After the database, guys, you should also know how to web scrap a base. And for that, guys, you need to use a very popular library, which is called as Beautiful Soup. So guys, what is the you know, beauty of Python? Python comes with lots of lots of libraries. And you think of doing anything, already there is a library available, right? Already there is a... After this guys, you should also know, you should also know how to call the REST APIs. Guys, all the connected applications, whether it's a, a Paytm, whether it's a Book My Show, whether it's a Uber, whether it's a Ola, whether it's a, a Grofer, whether it's a, any connected application on your mobile device, it's all dependent on calling the REST APIs. And, and primarily, guys, there are two types of APIs, GET APIs and POST APIs. Guys, any modern, you know, a connected application development happens through the REST APIs, okay? So guys, at least you should be knowing these and regular expressions, guys. You know, a very important one, guys, regular expressions, because regular expressions are used in machine learning and NLP problems, okay? Where you can, uh, you know, basically, uh, find out a substring or, you know, find out a data which is uh, of your interest, maybe finding a, a pattern, maybe finding the emails in the entire document, maybe finding the mobile numbers in the entire document. All of that depends on regular expressions, guys. Guys, after moving from this step, okay? Guys, after moving from this step, you need to move on to analytics domain, guys, where you need to learn primarily three libraries. Okay, primary library one is Pandas, the first one library. The other one is NumPy, which stands for numerical Python for mathematical operations, guys. And for showing the data in a graphical format, there is a library called Matplotlib. This is. So these are the three primary libraries, guys, you should be knowing. In case you are not very interested in the coding part, there are two tools available, guys, you know? So all of these will require, a, you know, writing a code in Python, guys. Pandas, which stands for Panel Dataset, one of the most popular library in the world regarding the data analytics, for cleaning the data, for transforming the data, for finding the insights of the data, right? That is there. Now guys, if you are not interested in the coding, right? So let's say you are coming from a non-technical background and still want to be as an analyst, right? You, you play around, you know, you love play around with the data. Then there are two tools available guys. One tool from the Microsoft, which is known as Power BI, okay? And there is one more tool which has been recently acquired by Salesforce is known as Tableau. 
these are the two tools guys which would be helpful for you they are the tools which is kind of a drag and drop tools okay you can use them very well three versions are available but obviously if you want to use all the features you may have to take a license that's it okay click view is also there one of the tool guys after moving from analytics now guys you are into machine learning world and guys when you are into the machine learning world you should know how to use a library called scikit-learn and i'm talking about python specific scikit-learn okay and in the scikit-learn guys you should know how to handle supervised machine learning problems or how to handle the unsupervised machine learning problems okay and in that scenario guys you should know what the regression is okay you should know what the classification is okay you should know what the clustering is you should know what is the association is a lot of these things okay this is there so guys i'm talking about scikit learn in in code you write it as a sklearn guys okay but in in general uh, uh, talk we call it as a scikit learn scikit learn is a framework in python world that is used to solve machine learning problems now guys after ml you can move on to deep learning or neural network there are two three libraries which you need to you know uh, understand the one library from google is tensorflow the most popular one okay google also has a library called keras one of the easiest library to carry on okay and i have seen a lot of people are using keras behind the scene keras uses tensorflow only so guys keras is not an independent library it is it is dependent on tensorflow but what is good at the way you write the code using scikit learn similarly you can write the code using keras so you know the code pattern is very similar to scikit learn that's why people a lot of people prefer keras facebook also has a library called pytorch actually it is from facebook and uber both right facebook and uber engineering they developed it so you can use any of these libraries to work on neural networks or to solve deep learning guys if you want to see a differentiation that where you should go for machine learning or whether you should go for a deep learning guys if your data volume is very large if you are solving a problem which is related to audio if you are solving a problem which is related to video if you are solving a problem which is related to a large text data okay in all of these scenarios guys you need to go through a deep learning the final step in your career would be a step which is called as reinforcement learning reinforcement learning and in this phase guys driverless cars the most you know driverless cars the you know the one of the finest examples and guys if you want to do any project related to reinforcement learning there is a framework which is called as open ai gem open ai gem okay so guys <coughs> as of now if you are a fresher guys listen very carefully if you are a fresher okay and if you are already good at python and and couple of you know areas in advanced python it is very you know likely that you will start as an analyst guys in any company even if you know machine learning or a deep learning the company would hire you as an analyst on and once you get the experience guys you can wear the hat of machine learning engineer or a deep learning engineer or rl engineer generally the freshers are hired on maybe a startup okay maybe a startup can give you any fancy title but most of the cases you would be doing an analytics job only guys okay they they may give you a junior data scientist they may give you a data scientist they may give you any you know uh, any fancy title on that that's not a issue they can give okay but the day to day activity would mostly involve playing around 
the analytics mayur uh, please keep this question i'll take this one uh, on the later part of this i'll open for the question answer session at that time you can ask this right yeah so guys that was there for you now you can decide where you are okay but that is the complete path i guys i have given you that's the complete path right this is the complete path now guys i i think you should find it interesting guys can you would you like to share any feedback on this is that this uh, interesting to you guys janish okay uh, prabhuda sanskruti noila okay vashna shravan okay a lot of people rishi lovelin lovneet okay <laughs> sid okay a lot of people are there yeah that's good now guys i'm coming to the problem statement okay now guys i'm coming to the problem statement so let's talk about that now guys guys we have a program okay which is a two months long internship and this internship guys people who participate okay or people who take part they solve a real client problem okay real client problem guys listen carefully listen carefully to me okay so in this two months long internship program provided by fosk obviously you will get a letter of internship no doubt about it after the completion you work on a real client problem okay and guys this internship would be 13th this time we have already done 12 boot camps or 12 seasons with the different problem statements different client problems okay now guys let me talk about what would be the problem okay so let's talk about the scenario guys guys the client in this problem okay is from gems and jewelry domain gems and jewelry listen carefully guys and very important one this gems and jewelry company works in 18 countries guys and they have a head office in jaipur okay i will not even name it but they have a head office in jaipur because jaipur is one of the place where you know gems and jewelry is is one of the major business here now guys this company has a e-commerce site this is their e-commerce site guys listen carefully guys and lot of people you know do a online buying of the products okay and once people you know buy their product and they use it they leave a review so review 1 review 2 a lot of people will write a review good reviews bad reviews and all right so reviews are there okay now guys what company wants okay what company wants is they want to develop a automated system guys listen carefully they want to develop a automated system which can read these reviews okay on a daily basis or on a weekly basis which can read these reviews on a daily basis on a weekly basis and generate a report guys this is the dashboard and on dashboard we are going to generate a report that out of so many reviews how many reviews are positive reviews and how many reviews are negative reviews so obviously this is going to be an nlp problem obviously this is going to develop a sentiment analyzer okay and guys when i talk about that how we can read these reviews from the websites so obviously we would be writing a scraper got it and guys after scraping we would be storing them in a database so guys we need a database here we would be using 
SQLite 3, guys, you know, SQLite 3 as a database. Okay. Now, guys, question comes that this is going to be an NLP or a machine learning problem. We need a model, guys, I'm talking about a model now. Okay. We need a model that will read the review from this database, okay? And make a prediction on that review, whether it's a positive review or a negative review. So guys, I'm talking about a prediction. So again, a machine learning problem, right guys? Now guys, question comes to prepare a model. You need a data set so that using this data set, you can train the model, right? But when we went to client and asked that, do you have a data set? Do you have a past data set? So that we can train the model. The client says, no, I don't have the data set that you can use to train the model, right? Then we got into a problem that how come we got a similar data set? So guys, what we did in that case, we went to Amazon reviews. Every year, Amazon review, you know, releases the reviews in a you know public domain. Okay, that is there. So, guys, we got a reviews which were around fourteen GB in size. Data set was data size was this, guys. So, fourteen GB is a huge data for a local processing, guys. So we got into a problem that how come we can handle this last data? So obviously, you know, we need to work on that. And guys, using this last data set, what we did, we process the model, we train the model, right? And once this model was ready, we created a pickle file for this, guys, pickle file. A pickle file is a way through which you can transfer your trained model to any machine or any environment. And once that pickle file is associated with this dashboard, this dashboard was developed using a library called Dash. Guys, I'm talking about Dash. Dash is a library which is used for developing web applications, particularly analytics web application. So finally, this is going to be a web interface. So guys, behind the scene, we have so many things. And as a technology stack, guys, if I talk about the technology stack, so you need to know Python. So we would be working on Python in this case. We need to know NLP. So we would be using NLTK guys here. We would be using regular expressions here. Okay, we would be using scikit-learn here. We would be using pandas here. We would be using numpy here. We would be using dash here. And maybe, you know, other minor, but these are the major ones, guys. You know, these are the major ones. Okay, that is there. So guys, do you get the complete picture? What we exactly are going to do? We start with the problem statement. And during the two months, we are going to develop this project, guys. And finally, we would publish this project on GitHub. You all will become as an individual developer, guys. You all would be working as an individual developer. Okay. And now, guys, I know. Okay. So uh, numpy and then dash, Ajay. Numpy and this dash. Okay. Now, guys, <laughs> along with this development, so how we have designed this internship, guys. So we have designed this internship, right, where learning and development, so learning plus development goes hand in hand. We learn something and then we develop. Then we learn, then we develop. Then we learn, we develop. It's a interlaced, guys, you know, it's an interlaced. So let me share a two months, you know, a program on that, guys, okay? Let me share, I have a schedule, guys. I have a weekly schedule for this, okay? So we have already worked a lot of homework on this, okay? We have already worked on the 
homework guys so let's talk about this can you see guys this excel sheet on my machine okay guys this is the week one where we talk about the problem statement we talk about the solution approach we talk about the agile methodology of a project development guys we talk about the best practices okay so here can you see guys how we are starting on the day one we are going to talk about the complete problem statement we will share a pdf file or you know uh, with the registered people solution approach and the wireframe so wireframe is a kind of a blueprint which talks about that how your your application has to look like at end of the day when the you know uh, uh, development is done guys on the from the day because i know there can be lot of people who are interested to join this internship but they have you know not very good hands on on the python so what we have done we have designed two days quick two days to quickly review the python skills guys so basic python on the day two and then we have intermediate python and guys then we'll talk about the regular expressions okay i will not talk about the regular expressions in theoretical concepts guys we will learn how to use regex to solve a problem okay and guys then we'll come to pandas library and guys in the week 2 we primarily you know work on how to handle the large data set i was talking about the 14 gb data set if you remember guys okay so how we are going to handle that and along with that we'll also learn the eda activities which is the initial investigation on the data that we get okay and then i will uh, uh, talk about the formal introduction of the machine learning we'll understand the various algorithms here the simple linear regressions what the feature is what the label is how to do the modeling how to perform the predictions how to play around with the numpy how to play around with matplotlib a lot of things in the week 2 guys then in the week 3 we talk about eda stands for exploratory data analysis exploratory data analysis which is the initial investigation on the data okay now guys in the week 3 we talk about supervised machine learning and how we can build the various machine learning models okay there you can see the regression there you can see the classification we also see how we can compare the performance of the various algorithms on the given data set and guys in the week 4 we talk about how we can create a bag of words model which is again a concept used in nlp okay and in nlp how we can clean up the data how we can improve the score and lot of things around that guys so here you can see and we would be also using some of the pre trained models called text blob and vader so again guys this week is whole week devoted for nlp okay and now guys in the week 4 things take a very you know a, a you know a turn in a way where you see guys now couple of things from the advanced python area where we talk about that how we can use a request library how we can you know talk about the uh, rest apis like get apis and post apis how we can scrap the reviews using beautiful soup okay how we can handle the data set database like sqlite and then also guys because uh, application would be a web application obviously here you can see the html i will talk about the html and the css part as well and then a uh, dash would come where using the dash we would be creating a ui and then how come we can handle the events in the ui how to handle the click events how to handle other activities okay and then you would talk about the bi so uh, your project delivery is done here and then along with that guys we will also bring the tableau sessions and bi sessions for you where you can analyze the data that is given to you and finally here you can see guys we have a project integration and a github release so this is going to be a really really a great addition to your resume and guys once you clearly explain this kind of a project which is obviously a industry grade project it's not a academic level project guys it's a more than that if you add such kind of a project in your resume or in your cv and talk about you know a clearly what you have done i i i i you know i guarantee you guys that your technical round would be superb right so technical uh, you know on the behalf of technical interview you will not be rejected guys if you talk about a such a project that i have done this project in final year or i have done this project as a internship or i have you know made this project so guys this is you know uh, 
guys and this is not a project which is available on internet guys this is the project which we have been working right so fosk is working on it and you would be working on this and you would be developing this project guys okay now guys if i talk about this if i talk about guys that what the such schedule is so guys this is going to be a completely online activity it's not a physical one guys this is going to be a completely online activity online internship okay guys the start date yeah muzakkar you would be getting a letter of recommendation as well if you are applying for a, a foreign university admission okay so along with the letter of internship you may apply for getting a letter of recommendation as well this is what we have done for a lot many people in the past so guys this internship is starting from 15th jan every day guys you have to spend one hour 7 pm to 8 pm after the session you may need to spend additional 30 minutes to somehow manage your task or somehow manage your homework or you know watch the session again in case you are not getting anything very clearly during the live session all of these sessions would be live guys live okay live anup says i am in so guys this is not a recorded although we will record and we will share the recording in a drive to you so that in the future you can get it any time but it is going to be a live session okay now guys this is going to be a two months program the first week is completely free for all guys listen very carefully first week yes we will share the recording on the same day itself okay guys first week is free for all so that you can participate so that you can understand the problem statement in more details you can understand our approach you can see the quality of our content you can see everything that you want to know in the first week guys this is going to be a completely transparent process for you if you want to continue after the first week there is a fee associated with this program which is just and just 5000 that's it okay and today is the day zero guys we will start from the 15th that would be our first day today i'm i'm just giving you the background and guys if you want to participate in this internship i'm sharing a form with you that you need to register guys registration is free we are not going to charge anything okay because i have already told you this the first week is completely free free ka matlab free hai no charges at all okay so guys after the first week you have seen you have experienced everything then you have to take the decision that's it okay guys now guys yeah sayed we can do that now guys i have already talked about the you know uh, uh we will have a session from monday to friday guys so guys the fee is sort of the fee is 5000 okay the fee is 5000 inr only okay and guys we are going to teach you everything from scratch don't worry about that okay yes are in them for for two months for all the weeks right and guys <coughs> that was from my side where i was talking about a problem statement to you i was talking about the format of this internship where i was talking about the background uh, of you know the problem statement i gave you the solution architecture the technology stack that, that we would be using guys okay and uh, so darshan uh, darshan we would be covering the same schedule what we have shared with you right we would be you know covering the same so we would be talking about the problem statement the solution approach the wireframe the python the regex the pandas that is part of the first week so we would be covering all those things in the first week darshan so guys that was from my side guys <coughs> so rahul is saying 
will we get a placement assistance after this internship yes rahul if you perform well then we obviously connect you to the companies who are interested to hire the people from our academy okay that is there pratiksha you would get a letter of recommendation obviously if you are applying for a, a admission in foreign university obviously uh, we would be issuing a letter of recommendation for you okay yeah sanjay the first week is completely free siddhant if you guys are fresher so guys whether you are a first year guy or a second year guy or a third year guy guys this is going to be a great start guys okay jitna jaldi start karo utna badhiya okay that is there bhavesh if you are a student then then only you know this this kind of a program is going to help you right so if if you are spending uh, let's say 9 to 4 or 9 to 5 in your college you just have to spend one more hour every day from monday to friday and that's it right so shikhar is asking what is the total fee the total fee shikhar is only 5000 shikhar okay 5000 only that's it now i'm getting a couple of more questions guys okay uh god of saying uh, uh the program is for 2 months yes god of the program is for 2 months okay uh, adi is saying any virtual environment provided for practicing so adi we would be using anaconda spider for writing the code we would be using a spider okay so uh himanshi is saying i am from economics Uh, will this be a good thing for me himanshi uh, it can be good for you because we have seen lot of people from economics uh, joining our past sessions or past programs or past internships if you want to be uh, in a domain of analytics this is uh, this is going to help you okay uh, pavan uh, uh, we would be uh, using uh, anaconda spider which is the environment and 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 for the sessions guys we would be using the zoom right so uh, anaconda for development activities pavan and and for the live sessions we would be using uh, zoom only uh, pancham uh, is saying i am in class 11 uh, how can i uh, join you so pancham if you are coming from a background uh, where you have interest in coding or you want to you know uh, go into the technology domain this can be very even we have seen the people joining us from the ninth class and even from the seventh class we have we have so so cases as well ayush okay ayush is saying sir uh, uh, sir two questions what are the prerequisites for this project and second question is batch 11 is also had the same topic so uh, ayush you are right okay so uh, we generally you know uh, change uh, the problem statement after two three iterations and uh, uh, the prerequisite is that you should have a sincerity and motivation that is you know there uh, ayush okay and uh, uh, if you have that everything else we would be taking care of it in the internship so you don't worry about that aniruddha is saying coding skills required coding to sikhayenge aniruddha don't worry we will you know make you good at the coding don't worry every day we are going to write the live code okay sonika is saying uh, will be doing a deployment also it would be a local deployment sonika if you want you can use docker kind of a stuff and you know deploy it later on but that is not part here you know the deployment is local okay uh, we would be using a web server and all uh, but that is not on the public domain sonika yogesh there is no prerequisite uh, if you come from a, a, a you know a programming background that is a very good uh, you know stuff uh, but uh, as long as you are sincere sincere and you want to you know uh, uh, experience this kind of internship then there is no uh, prerequisite okay so uh, rosaline is saying uh, i already know machine learning in dl i need a job uh, how could uh, apply the job so rosaline almost every uh, two months we uh, you know uh, uh, we do a hiring you know a drive for our companies you know for our associate companies so uh, you may send your resume and uh, you know uh, 
whenever we have a next hiring, we will include your uh, you know uh, profile as well. So uh, now, guys, let me talk about this. So Aditya is saying, I'm a first year student. A student will be able to grasp everything as I'm not familiar with Python. Koi baat nahi, Aditya. I'll, I, we will take the Python. Don't worry. We will make you comfortable with Python. Don't worry at all. Okay. Uh, Shri uh, Lal is saying, are we working on the project on DL? As of now, this project is related to uh, NLP. This project is related to AML. Uh, this is not a DL one. Uh, Kathy, uh, uh, I think uh, better you join the first week and then talk about it. <laughs> Kathy, right? Aniruddha, uh, coding skills uh, uh, not required. We will develop your coding skills during the two months. Don't worry about that. Okay. Uh, Srinivas, that's okay. Even if you have a year gap after the BDEC, that doesn't worry, right? Uh, you know, uh, it can be a good addition to, uh, you know, fill your gap, actually. Noela, yes, you can do that. Noela, Pinto, you can do that. No issues with that. So the Sundhra uh, Krishna saying, I'm a PG student. Uh, yes, people doing even PhD, people doing the AmTech, they join us, Sundhra. So you can you can do that, right? So Radmi saying, can a semi-technical guy apply for this course with the with the same benefit at work? Yes, uh, even people uh, who are working somewhere in the company in Bangalore and Hyderabad, they apply for our programs. Yeah, Neha, it is going to be a, a live one-on-one -on -one mentorship program, okay? Uh, this is going to be, you know, uh, uh, interesting for you. Pranay is saying uh, 14 GB data will require high speed processor, how we will manage it. Uh, Pranav, uh, as long as you have a, a minimum 4 GB or, you know, 8 GB uh, uh, system, uh, we would be able to manage it. So Pandas will help in that, okay? Yeah, Shivam, you are right. The first week is free. Uh, Harsh, as of now, uh, no internship for deep learning project. Maybe in future, you know, there can be. Oppo, you can you can do it later. So, sort of whenever you are talking about building a object oriented, you know, uh, based. Uh, program obviously in Arrington's is used there. Yeah, Nathan, you are right. So, uh, guys, God of saying, sir, our college requires six months of internship. Can we continue for six months? And what would be the fee? Yeah, God of you can continue. So, what God of you can do first, you join for the two months, and if you like the program, you can continue for further project work. Okay. So in that way, you can you can complete your six months, Gaurav. Uh, Sundara, it's okay. If you're doing MSc in data analytics, this is going to really help you. And don't worry about uh, that sentiment analysis. We will make it very easy for you. So Malkit uh, NLP, we would be using NLTK actually, right? We would be using NLTK uh, as a library to solve this problem. Okay. So uh, 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 any which is required as a prerequisite, we are going to cover it. Isneel, uh, first join and perform well, then, then definitely we'll talk about it. <laughs> Vaishnavi is saying, can working professionals benefit from this course or this is for students? No, Vaishnavi. Students as well as for working professional, we have seen people even from the 20 years of experience, they have joined us from Bangalore and Hyderabad. They have successfully transitioned from one domain to another domain. Another domain means AI ML domain. They have successfully done this. 
so it depends if if you are find, if you are looking for a salary hike or if you are looking for a, a, a you know domain change in this definitely this is going to help you Uh, Mohammed is saying, "Will I would be able to access the recording if I have some other commitments or timing?" Yeah, uh, Mohammed. In case so, the first requirement is that you should not miss the session. In case you miss, there is a recording available the same day. After you know, let's say a session is closing by eight, so by eight thirty you get the recording session, recorded session. Okay. Shreya, if you are new to Python coding, this is going to really help you and make you a pro into Python coding. Don't worry about this. So Himanshi, uh, let's let's join for the first week and then put this question to us. Okay. Uh, Jashwant, uh, as I told you, uh, as a fresher. Uh, joining as a data analyst would be you know a more appropriate or more likely a uh, condition not directly as an ml expert okay purnima yes working people can definitely join us no doubt about it we have a lot of people in the past internships people joined us so varun is saying i'm i'm already working as a data engineer i'm interested in aml and dl with this two months course would be beneficial yes uh, first of all varun this is not a, a one more course this is a internship a very much focused towards the project development very much focused towards the coding part and practical implementations varun okay so uh, thapa uh, d thapa is saying hi yogendra this looks great i am having around 20 years of experience in it admin and operations so i am looking for a job right now how this program will help me as i am a fresher in this technology though i am learning basic python business analytics and after doing this course uh, can i apply for a senior position in ds and ai so uh, uh, d thapa listen very carefully to me uh there are a lot of people who wants to make a change maybe having a 10 years of experience or 15 years of experience in 20 years of experience that is very common nowadays okay and it's good that you have already done with the basic python this this first of all this this is going to be a good addition in your resume that you have worked on a very good project so this is you know a one advantage for you when you join it okay and similarly maybe you know uh, on the same lines you can add one or two more projects okay in your resume then i think it becomes easy for you to apply anywhere because if your if your resume not showing any related projects uh, for the domain you are applying for then it's very hard to get a, a filter right Um, in, in the first round itself you know your resume is probably out so i think once you mention such projects in your profile definitely it is going to help you and and once you are there on the table for an interview obviously it all depends on your personality as well your positive outlook your your you know uh, willingness to learn new and you know uh, so a lot of things because you already know you know 20 years of experience so you don't need uh, any guidance on that part but uh, i think i have answered your question yeah nish we are going to learn python from scratch don't worry okay dhanraj yes uh, uh, the language of teaching is english only okay uh kashik don't worry we will make you comfortable in the coding don't worry don't worry at all okay so at end of the program hari haran uh, you would be getting a letter of internship a certificate of completion okay and a letter of recommendation uh, if if you you know uh, say if if you demand that i also need a letter of recommendation we will issue it shrikant is saying a schedule problem i'm working somewhere my working schedule is 2:30 to 10:30 pm and shrikant in that way i think it would be difficult for you to manage it and guys for communication purpose we would be using a slack guys I, we are not using signal we are not going to use whatsapp we would be using a uh, slack 
application for the communication guys here you can you see guys so we have already you know a, a, a batch wise communication platform has been created so can you see guys even people can you see this vidura is is he's from sri lanka actually so a lot of people are joining us from there you know other countries as well so guys we would also creating a, a you know a channel for you on the slack and that would be a 24/7 you know a platform for the communication uh, uh tejashwi saying rest apis creation is covered uh, uh tejashwi not creating the rest apis but you know uh, consuming the rest apis get and post both uh, we would be talking about that yeah dolly we would be providing you the recordings on the daily basis uh pujara not not in this internship uh, the basic uh, stats will come but if you're looking for a deeper one uh, they are not there uh, adi let's let's join that and then you'll you know uh, explore all those uh, database related queries <laughs> so pujara this 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 internship is more focused on the project development not on the research one pujara right so if you're looking for a, a research oriented one then it's not we prepare students for the industry right and in that sense we we more focus on the project development and then you know uh, developing their skills to solve a problem that is the focus of this internship yeah rahul uh, saturday and sunday would be off adi we would be creating a sqlite uh, uh, you know um, version of our database uh, on the local machine only not the virtual one sundara if you are a final year student it's a good for you right uh, as you can show this kind of a project for your uh, final year as well Okay, let's talk about. Uh, Dhanraj, yes, yes, I'll talk about in English only. <laughs> Just a minute. I'm coming to a few more questions. uh i have a good experience in ml mayur is saying i am a final year i also done few internship but not big projects like this i have a good experience in ml i am in final year uh, mayur uh, let's let's first join the first week and then then bring your this question to us we definitely will give a consideration on this okay sajia khan is saying i i come from electronics background will this help me move to data science yes a lot of people from electronics people from elect electrical even people from mechanical they they are uh, taking part in such internships and they you know it is really helping them sajia so if you want to take a it job or a, a data science job uh, then i think it's a good option for you if you want to go for a core job only uh, then it is not for you sajia yeah arindam we are going to have a next session on 15th which is friday okay Among Banerji is saying, "In uh, any questions, so let me talk about." Yeah, Rosalita, you can do that after twelfth. Okay. Yeah, Shiral, you are right. Kashik says, "I have a six years of experience in automobile design field." uh koshik uh, uh, if you want to make a switch from that domain then it will help you otherwise not right koshik there are cases who have moved from you know non it domain to it domain like data science so it all depends on your uh, you know a willingness or are you you know ready to put that hard work which is anyway required when you want to make a entry to a new territory 
if you are willing to do so if you have an energy level then definitely you can make a change that's not a issue kashik you just need to follow the guidelines we give to you or the mentorship we give to you and then you have to do that kashik uh shikhar uh, i think uh, uh, we will inform you as of now i have no dates for that uh gaurav will talk about that let's first continue for first two months and then we'll find out a way that how we can you know uh, how you can continue for six months gaurav right manikanta nlt uh, it's not nlt it's nlp natural language processing manikanta sort of uh, this includes nlp this includes mlp sort of kumar this includes uh, you know scrapping this includes uh, you know uh, working with the ui part uh you know database handling so there are lots and lots of you know uh, uh, components in this internship so uh there is a question coming up from umang let me so vivek kumar is saying i'm a in industrial engineer have a 6 year gap working in government job now interested in data science so uh, if you're working already working into a government job so vivek what you can do maybe you can pick up a freelancing profile so along with your government job you know that can be a one area where you want to work as a freelancer and obviously data science is a hot domain in that case vivek yeah pranav uh, five days a week we have this program five days a week uh oman can you question put your question again i, I think i missed it uh uh pujara is saying how would one understand the concept without math so pujara i will we will cover the math to an extent where people understand the concept right but it it would not be a math heavy session we bring the math component which is required for understanding the philosophy understanding the you know a concept but not uh, the greater detail one no it's not uh, on that format sonika uh, i would recommend that you should use you should use a spider not the jupiter one but if you are already comfortable with jupiter you can do that nitin there is no guarantee to get a job but if you are working your sincere efforts you are following the guidelines right you are building the project in a uh, you know a, a very you know a kind of uh on the right way then definitely we are going to help you definitely we are going to help you there are a lot of people even in the we are still in the hiring process and and uh in next couple of days around uh, 8 to 10 engineers would be joining uh, our client company as an intern and it would be a paid internship where they get the stipend and salaries everything so we help people in that uh tejashri singh are there any other projects going on uh, other than in this domain like healthcare or banking or some other i think banking would come soon uh, tejashri but i can't come commit the date as of now uh, but uh, we are working on those lines as well so among uh, can you can you please i i think i missed your question among can you please write it back Uh, hari uh, if you are having a 2 gb ram only then uh, it would be a difficult situation for you <laughs> so amia this live chat is stored on the zoom only right so it would not be public amia but if you want 
uh, to uh, put any questions, we will bring you on the Slack. So uh, there you will find all the. So can you see a lot of people are, you know, are talking here and all. So, so that would be there. Asif Ali will be covering the all libraries from basic to advanced, as you said earlier, like pandas. Uh, Psyched, yes, Asif, starting from Python, then Pandas, then NumPy, then, you know, uh, Scikit-learn, uh, you know, all the, then NL, NLTK, uh, then Dash, all of those libraries. No, among it's not compulsory. If, if, if you say, uh, uh, you know, the first week is free, that doesn't mean that, you know, uh, you, you will have to, you know, uh, continue after the first week. You have to take the decision after the first week. You get it, Tomang? It's up to you then. And uh, Omang, I, I did not miss this time, right? <laughs> Sorry for that. I actually, you know, there were a lot of questions and I missed it. Uh, Amiya, we will share uh, uh, the link in the next session. Don't worry. So when we have the first session on 15th, we will bring everyone on the Slack. Don't worry about that. Uh, so, uh, uh, Rosalita, if if we require a three months internship, uh, then I think additionally two uh, k uh, more. Okay, that would be there. Ros Rosalita, that's it. Uh, you will get all the details among very soon uh, on the, uh, you know, uh, we will message you all the details among, okay? So how to join the first session, we will share all. So you, all of you guys have to register on this, okay? All of you guys have to register on this. Uh, Isnil, uh, we will be uh, taking it from Amazon reviews. So we'll talk about it once we have the sessions, okay? Yeah, Siddhant, we are looking forward to the people, looking forward to you as well to join. Isnihal, I have responded to your query. So guys, let me know how was the session for you. Uh, would you like to share your feedback for today's session, guys? Your feedback, please, guys, any suggestion or any feedback? So Redmi saying, are AI jobs more stressful and tough in comparison to the coding ones? No, uh, uh, Redmi, it's not like that. You know, it depends on the time management of person to person and uh, all jobs are stressful, but uh, if your job is a job where you like it, right? Then it's not a stress. So sometimes if you're in a wrong job, then it's a stress. Among Banerjee is saying it was extremely helpful. Uh, uh, Sanjeev is saying it was informative. Uh, Among saying good. Nitin saying fantastic. Uh, one Among says uh, uh, our spend with you know uh, Malkit saying it was great session. Mayur saying really beneficial and excellent. Sanjay saying uh, really awesome. Thapa, uh, the 20 years of experience guy, uh, Thapa says precise and to the point. Thanks for this wonderful session. Varun Nagarane Rare saying topics are interesting. Definitely want to see what's in the store. Uh, Sundara is saying surpri surprisingly good. <laughs> okay, Sundara. Yeah. Uh, uh, Nitin, it's very nice concept. Uh, uh, Darshan, everything about ML and AI is clear. Thank you so much for explaining it in an easy way. Sarat saying it's good. Sonika is saying amazing. Thank you for doing this and helping many. Uh, Snail saying looking forward for next session. Uh, Vaishnavi saying thank you so much for such a great session and that too in a short period of time. Tejashvi saying it was informative. I'm waiting for this kind of opportunity. Looking forward to be associated with FOSC. Uh, Saji is saying session is very uh, helpful for me. Sanskriti is saying superb session. Uh, Rosalita, uh, it was really helpful. Thank you for the session. Adi, uh, good intro session. Got all the details required. Thank you. So guys, uh, um, uh, thank you all. Uh, 
okay uh, we have a lot of lot many asif is saying asif ali is saying uh, it uh, it was informative session uh, prasila montero okay says well explained thank you pravudha saying uh, 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 sir uh, we did not receive schedule of my final semester exam so i don't want don't know whether i'll start so there is any internship after february yes there would be more uh, pravudha uh uh read me saying looking forward for more sessions from fosk it was amazing suhani so morya is saying uh thank you so guys uh thank you uh thanks for your time and see you in the next uh session guys which is on 15th shubham uh, is saying really helpful session thank you for it yeah shubham welcome so guys uh, see you in the next session then till then bye bye take care good night yeah registration form is there guys you need to register for the uh, next session yeah sarab you just need to uh, fill this form right i have already shared the link with you sarab Arsh Tiwari saying thanks. Sarav, a lot of people. Um, Omang saying ample amount of knowledge in field of technology in one hour. <laughs> Welcome Omang. I missed your question anyway, but I answered it. Thank you. Bye bye.